welcome to your Money Monday. What's the number one opportunity at the end of the year for you to get listings? Hey, I'm Rich Motz. Welcome to Money Monday, session 133. First off, Merry Christmas, everyone. After all, it is Christmas Eve today. I'm here to talk to you today about a huge opportunity that only comes once a year. And it, of all times, it comes between Christmas and New Year's. The largest number of expired listings will happen on December 31st. Historically, that's the single most popular day for homes to expire. That means you have an opportunity to go relist properties right now, all right? The single day is December 31st. The second biggest opportunity is on December 30th. And that's basically because realtors, a bunch of realtors, don't realize that there's 31 days in December, apparently. So coming in to the end of the month, for the first time in a long time, we're going to have expired listings. So that's a great thing. That's a great opportunity. And it's coming to us exactly at a point in time when we need it, when we need listings for sure. We want to build a strong listing base here going into 2019 because that's the way we're going to survive and prosper in 2019. And understand that every one of those expireds have three decisions to make, three ways they can go. And that's basically right here. They can either for sale by owner, FISBO, wait until the spring, or list with a new agent. So let's start out with seven reasons why not to sell a home as a for sale by owner, FISBO we call it. Number one, it's hard to price correctly. We are the experts that can price your home and position it for sale in the marketplace the best. Number two, having a marketing plan can be challenging for a for sale by owner. We have all the tools and technology to reach the proper marketplace. Number three, the inconvenience of showing a home themselves. That can be quite a task and we are available to do that virtually all the time. Number four, there's legal liability and you want to make sure that you have all your ducks in a row trying to sell your home yourself. Number five, you have to be careful of scams. With all the crazy email scams going on right now and uh, going into people's bank accounts, it's very fraudulent, a lot of scams going on right now. Number six, the uh, seller has emotional attachment to the home. So uh, we can work with them a lot better, not being emotionally attached and often the seller actually gets like actually offended when they say something is wrong with the home and whatnot and it can really sour the deal where we're a third party and can work with the seller better and number seven FISBOs actually sell for less so let's talk about that once FISBOs selling for less basically FISBOs as far as percentage of home sales they've gone down dramatically since 1981 that chart right there starts in 1981 and it's down to 7%, the lowest number recorded since 1981. So people are depending on us as professionals to sell their homes. Another thing about FISBOs is there's a study done, and they actually get prices. The for sale of owner thinks they're going to make more money not paying commission, but they actually get a lower price than what selling with a realtor, utilizing the multiple listing service. The differential in selling prices for the MLS sales was about 5.5% in 2016, under number two there. And then in 2017, it was about 6% lower for a for sale by owner instead of selling with a realtor. So basically, you're getting our commission for free. Isn't that cool? Then, the typical sold price per the National Association of Realtors for a FISBO is about $200,000, and the average sale price for a realtor is about $265,000. So a home sold by a realtor obtained more money. So it's well worth utilizing us professionals. Now, where do buyers find the home they purchase? You know, the, the most part, as you can see, the internet is the biggest percentage of where uh, buyers find homes. Sure, a for sale owner can put their home on the internet, but ours are actually targeted and we have so many more resources to get it nationally. And, you know, when you put it on the internet with us, it goes to hundreds and hundreds of websites instead of only one or two. Yard signs then are second and print advertising is very small. Then we look at the percentage of people who are using a broker 
by age. So the biggest buyers right now are millennials. So nine out of 10 millennials, the 37 years and older, the 87 to 90% bracket there is showing that basically nine out of 10 millennials prefer to use a realtor. And that's kind of funny because millennials are known as do-it-yourselfers. And then everyone else is pretty much 85% plus. So you want to work with that 85 to 90% of the marketplace, obviously. And so you have all this marketing material to show sellers that is best to work with you. Then let's talk about inventory this time of year. Why a seller wants to keep their home on the market right now? Because the inventory, as you can see, is much less now compared to April, May, and June, the red bars right there. So why didn't their house sell? Quite often, it's condition of the house, it's the price, it's a marketing plan, or it could be lack of communication with an agent. Another thing to consider is if they, a seller would wait to sell their home later is interest rates going in 2019. You know, they're Freddie Mac stating they're going to go from about 4.9% to 5.3%. So getting in the mid fives is a whole different category for a lot of people. So take all these things into consideration. We also have lots of resources about, you know, working with expireds that I can provide for you without a doubt. And then a winner, buyer and seller guys are great resources also. So remember, the largest number of listings expire on December 31st, and now you as a realtor have to get out there and attack these things either right there December 31st or very first of the year. So get your marketing material together. I hope you like this video. It's real important, as you know, to take action. If you would like more information on how to take advantage of expired listings, feel free to reach out to me. And remember, the gift is in the shift of the market. So when there's opportunities like this, definitely take advantage of them. I'm Rich Motts, and I wish you a very Merry Christmas, and I will see you next Money Monday. Merry Christmas, everyone.